June 12th babies. Happy birthday if you were born June 12th or if you know someone. I do offer these readings if you are interested on my website too, but I just need to know in advance. Okay, so um, this is the theme of the year, theme of the year, also a gemstone crystal for the year. For the day um, energy for today, for your birthday, and a wish. So you can make a wish and we'll see what messages come through there. So what are we seeing here in the Astro Dice? You have the moon, you have Leo, and you have um, the eighth house. Woo, okay. So this is basically a theme of the year, what is present there and results and how it's going to be like. So when you're dealing with the moon, this is not an easy energy, okay? This is... Um, you're going to have to trust your intuition and follow your gut this year. Uh, dealing with a lot of feminine issues, uh, females may be important, mother, motherhood, um, your dreams, your intuitions. You may be a little bit more sensitive. There are things that maybe there are known. It's integration. It's deep feelings. So there's a lot of um, that kind of emotional baggage sometimes, too. But everything here, there is um, that creative streak to it, too. So it's dealing with the good, the bad, um, and sometimes the unknown. There can be pent-up anger. There could be a lot of resentment, um, dealing with um, even jealousy or envy around. Um, so there, with the moon, there's always something hidden, too, and seeking um, a deeper meaning. I feel also there could be overall some kind of disappointments Maybe going all the way back to childhood, uh, people with the uh, from the past, karmic loves, maybe even dealing with children, okay? So I'm seeing that maybe self, uh, low self-esteem issues, all of that is coming into theme, okay? And that, um, you know, the uh, going with the flow, with the moon. So the moon's um, cycles could be very significant. Leo is present here. So this could be a Leo that's going to hinder you, help you out, or um, the time of Leo could be very significant. So a Leo may be very present. But the energy of Leo, um, there is something that things may manifest in a very dramatic manner, okay? Um, there's a sense of um, pride here, confident, being brave, uh, generosity. This is good for th uh, theater, uh, chance, um, and luck. Also can be children are involved. Maybe you're thinking of having children this year. There is something there, childhood. So Leo or the time of Leo is very significant. And then you're dealing with the eighth house. Not the easiest house to deal with. It's death, it's rebirth there. It deals with uh, primal stuff, intimacy, shared resources, psychological purging. Um, so there is that. It could be your enemies. I mean, there is a lot going on with the eighth house, okay? It's a mystical energy. Um, um, it could be dealing with uh, addictions, anything. It's just a very strong house. It's a lot of purging, a lot of focus, so it's kind of resonating here. So that's what we're seeing here. Um, a lot of things are um, within reach for you. So it's like things that you d desire, things that you want to achieve. Leo will give you that um, boost in energy too. Significantly, I do feel the Leo energy or the time of Leo is going to be very important. And with the eighth house, it's just a lot of scattered energy is around you too. A lot could be going on, okay? The theme of the year, what you got is the Knight of Swords. Okay, the Knight of Swords is not easy, um, this is an energy that it could be a very, very fast year. A lot of things rushing in, significant um, news coming in. Make sure people don't intrude your space, too. This is sometimes the intruder. Um, this is also fast-moving energy. On the go, 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 go. You're going to have to be patient at times during this year is what I feel here, too. There is this energy that you need to um, rest when you can. Um, you know, do things step at a time. You can't, it's, I see a lot of scattered energy too. And then continue and develop um, whatever you're doing this year too. So can be dealing with legality. Sometimes this is very cer cerebral too as well. Again, um, I'm feeling there's a healing energy coming through too, but clearing the path for um, a lot of things too this year. So the Nine of Swords is there, okay? This is a messenger as well. So a lot of significant events may be occurring during the solar year for you. And the crystal gemstone card that you got is Smoky Quartz. Are your emotions blocked? Are emotions preventing you from moving forward? 
Embrace your feelings, both positive and negative. Release anger and resentment. Watch your emotions be transformed into one that frees you to live and love fully. This is a stone because I do gemstone readings too. And with the um, smoky rose quartz, there's a lot of adjustments and changes. That's my take on it. Adjustments and changes. This is emotional baggage. There is a cautionary energy here too and creative energy. This is even dealing with our primal issues. This is intimacy, sometimes even dealing with um, our sexuality. There's a lot of purging and adjustments and clarity, um, gaining clarity. Okay, it's getting through a lot, but it's clearing the emotional baggage. I feel also with this card um, and the smoky quartz, your message for the year here is anything that's not working out. Um, it's been a frustrating year so far anyway for all of us collectively, but I'm seeing it here. A lot of delays, um, a lot of obstacles in your path, but they will be in your favor. Blessings in disguise. I pick up a Libra energy very strongly here as well, or the time of Libra. Something with Libra needing balance, maybe legalities, but or maybe a Libra may be present. Also be careful not to be used by others, okay? Do not put too much energy into others. Um, don't be used by others. There are a sense of um, realizations coming through as well. Okay, your energy for today, okay, specifically for you, is the Five of Swords. We're seeing a lot of swords here. All right, so, you know, Five has changed, change of perspective. Um, this is sometimes clearing the path, um, making adjustments, can be some debates, you know, you could win something, but then there's really no win. It's not a win-win situation. So it's like, you know, trying to update things. Um, people have their own point of view. So it is kind of a, a dicey. But I do see see with your perspectives, um, your, your thoughts, whatever's going on, uh, try to proceed with caution. I feel a strong no. I would uh, stay out of conflicts today too, okay? Also, no. Don't If you don't want to do something, say no. That's one thing I feel. I don't know why I'm picking up a Virgo energy too. You may be dealing with a Virgo today too. So your wish card, you have the Six of Swords, okay? Six of Swords, is de it's, it's a six. It's dealing with everyday routines, thoughts of moving, tr um, maybe there's been pressure, trouble, a lot of being stuck in the head, okay? So there's been challenges. Yeah, this is the uh, the basic uh, textbook um, card of um, leaving the troubles waters behind, yeah. Health, well-being, overall, mental, emotional, and physical is coming up here. Balance is needed with a six, leaving some uh, troubles behind. This could be thoughts of moving. What I feel with this wish, what will help is uh, moving forward, leaving some kind of emotional uh, baggage and upset behind, okay? There is help. You are not doing anything alone. This wish can even be fulfilled with, um, there's a lot of help there. It's on its way, if anything. Also, there are a lot of serious, uh, some lessons that have been learned here that you're going to carry with you and be able to create this wish somehow. So that's what's coming through there. Now, for June 12th, babies, um, the significant numbers, I feel, it's very strong. There is power. Eight is also power. The numbers that I do feel here, and I know that you guys have a sense of, you know, there's a lucky streak to you guys. It's almost like you have a um, angel on the side always protecting you, okay? But there's always um, that uh, something that needs to be eliminated. Communications is strong for you too. Um, I feel the numbers that are going to be significant for your solar year ahead is 6, 8, 9, 18, okay? Happy birthday. Have a wonderful day. Bye.